It's Confident Computing number 857. Can't I just copy everything to back up? Hi everyone, Leo Notenboom here for AskLeo.com with this week's video summary of my weekly emailed newsletter, Confident Computing. If you're not getting your copy in your inbox every week, visit AskLeo.com slash newsletter to sign up today. So this week's featured article answers that question. Can't I just copy everything? Why do I have to go through the complication of using a backup program since Windows has so many copy utilities already built in? Well, the good news is that you can if you know what you're doing. The bad news is that honestly, you really don't want to. There are things that you can't copy that you want to copy when you're backing up. All that in more depth in Can't I Just Copy Everything to Back Up? Also this week, how pixels and DPI and resolution and picture size and file size all relate. There's a bunch of different terms that relate to the images. One of the most confusing concepts is that, well, size and size are two different things. I've said that in multiple places because there's two different kinds of sizes and both matter. What comes after terabytes? <laughs> lots and lots of bytes come after terabytes. As disks get bigger, we're introducing more and more new terminology to handle the increasing sizes. I'll review what happens after terabytes for a while. Should your username be more like a password? It's a question that I got asked recently, and honestly, it got me thinking. The short answer is, well, yeah, it kind of can help a little bit, but pragmatically, not really, not very much. It's not worth the effort. You're better served using other techniques to secure your account. Finally, how do I remove malware that blocks downloads? This is a problem we've seen for years. Malware tries very hard to prevent its own removal, and it does that in some cases by blocking downloads. There are techniques to get around the problem. No TEH podcast this week. And in fact, next week is at risk because there's a big Mac announcement that I suspect Gary will be paying attention to. I want to remind you again of the article I pointed you at last week at the AARP site called Inside an International Tech Support Scam. I strongly suggest you read it and I strongly suggest you share it with those most vulnerable around you. Now, Last week, I introduced a survey asking about what kind of community options we might want to add or use here at Ask Leo. The results were, I'll be honest, I'll say they were disappointing, but they actually did help me make a decision. The results were less than I expected, and there wasn't a clear winner. So the bottom line from all of this is that I've turned off the Discord server for now, and I'm probably not going to be pursuing this. I'll probably spend my energy uh, in other things that will hopefully serve you better. But I wanted to let you know the results and thank you to everybody who participated. And as a final closing note, one of the things I would really appreciate your doing is sharing this newsletter to the people that you know who might find it valuable and interesting. Of course, hopefully you found it valuable and interesting and that's why you're here. Earlier this week, I performed what I call spring cleaning, which basically cleaned out about 20% of the members of the mailing list. That happens every year. It's always about 20%. It's something that, you know, you just sort of accept as a newsletter mailing list sender. But that doesn't mean it doesn't hurt. So I would love it if you could spread the word, help Ask Leo continue to grow and get more people interested and get more people the answers that I know that they're looking for when they're dealing with their technology every day. Again, thanks for being here. I hope you found something valuable, interesting, or maybe a little bit humorous. I'm Leo Notenboom. This is AskLeo.com. Take care.